When Hurricane Katrina hit Greg Monroe's hometown of New Orleans in 2005, Monroe was a 15-year-old living in nearby Gretna, in this home, a few miles across the river. Fortunately, his home only incurred wind damage. His family then evacuated to Houston. Um, it was a little scary, but, you know, I was, you know, I was blessed. You know, a lot of people, you know, I was in touch with most of, most of my family was actually with me. Uh, we were all living in the same apartment complex. Um, I was in touch with all my friends. So, I mean, it was scary, but, you know, at the same time, I was, I was you know, came out better than a lot, of, than most people. Um, I went to school, you know, that school was a good school. I had a lot of fun going to school, met a lot of new people. So, the experience, you know, the, the whole thought of the hurricane was, was awful. It's a terrible thing to happen to the city, but, you know, my time here, um, you know, being able to be with my family and, and meet a lot of new people, uh, it, was, it was a good time. The Pistons played in Houston Tuesday and flew to New Orleans after the game, allowing Monroe to spend the afternoon at home relaxing with Ennis and Jamal, elementary and high school pals. The house is adorned with memorabilia from Greg's career, the Mr. Basketball Trophy from high school, and his Big East Player of the Year trophy. But the big attraction is Mom Norma's cooking. What do you got there? Uh, look, those are crab 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 oh, man. That's some serious stuff. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how, how's your mom's home cooking? Ten and a half, fried catfish, uh, shrimp fettuccine, uh, both are two of my favorites. Greg got to visit his two-month-old nephew, Balin, sister Brittany's child. Norma raised Greg and Brittany alone after getting divorced when Greg was five. She's been a great influence in your life, hasn't she? Yes, uh, you know, definitely. Uh, you know, she's worked hard for me and my sister her whole life. Um, she's did whatever it took to provide for us, so she's definitely been a big influence on my life. When you see him uh, competing in the NBA and, and being in the world's greatest stage, what, what, what are you proudest of as a mom? What he accomplished, because I know that's what he's wanted, and he, uh, he always was a good uh, child. I never had a problem out of him. So um, just the fact that he accomplished it and what he wanted now was to be an NBA player. Monroe bought a suite for his family and friends for the game that night against the Hornets. And Friday, Minnesota recorded a career-high 15 rebounds, completing the whirlwind three games and four days road trip. Still just 20 years old, he traces a measure of his maturity to that wild month back in August 05. Take anything for granted. <laughs> You just don't take anything for granted after uh, you know, going through something like that. Um, you know, to cherish every day. You know, to cherish the things that matter most too, which is family and friends.